Hey, Cheryl. Hey, April. We were at the wrong lot. It's not this lot over here with the mountain of dirt. This is lot 68. You guys see? This is lot 68. And so, um, so I guess it would be from here. I'm trying to pan over it. And I'm going to walk the lot. This is a nice lot. I am very elated about this lot. Because it is going to sit up a little bit. So I'm walking the actual lot as you guys see. So if it has to be so many setbacks. Let's see. You see the blue tape? Right here is the property line. That's the um, where the property stops. But check this out. Oh, this is a nice lot. I'm happy. It has a little... On that lot over here, it had like a little bit of drop, but that's to your left. Where um, your home is, the way it looks, this is the actual backyard. So it's not as bad. Now that lot 69, a lot 70, that one may have a pretty um, decent drop back. But if you look as you follow and it hugs the back, yard of the other lot it's not going to be too bad so this is one stick which identifies your property line and i guess on in the front if you look in the front here that's the stake where the house is going to start where the blue stick is and all of this is they're going to have to level out they had to bring a substantial amount of dirt to level this out so my little nosy but just trying to go over here to see this drop but even with that that's going to be leveled it's got a little drop but not what i thought wow this the mud is kind of i wonder if that's a basement lot but that's the backdrop of the other lot but like i said they're still um, leveling this lot out. And as you see, it backs up to a tree safe. But this is your lot. This is lot 68 right here. And it's pretty wide. But overall, I think you're going to be really happy with the privacy. And the fact that there's nothing else that's going to be built in the back of you. So I'm going to send this up to you guys. And I'll give you a call. Um, Curtis did email me back. Um, so I'll give you guys a call in a little bit. Talk to you soon. Bye.